Hello and welcome to another Racky's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Second one of the night. And I ain't got a tin opener. That's a downer. So, we're reviewing this from Asda. Uh, well, it's, it, it's uh, I bought it from Asda anyway. So it was either 92 pence or just over a quid. So, decent price. And it's Champignuel's Continental Lager. And it's saying, uh, and a bit of bump I've got, Champignol's Continental Lager is brewed with the Bella Fontaine natural spring water according to an ancient recipe with fine and selecting, selected ingredients. It is wheat coloured, pale and slightly golden. It is crystal clear with a fine and thin foam. Try saying that five, five times. Fine, thin foam. Fine, thin foam. Fine. And the aromas are balanced, coupled with floral scents. Right, let me just grab. Hey, I'm back. So yeah, I, I picked this up the other week, and uh, sometimes I, I go, I look past the cheap lagers, and I, I don't really want um, entertain them. But at the likes of Audi, Lidl. Asda, and all these supermarkets, there's lots of lagers that I've not reviewed. And uh, it's time to get reviewing, especially when you're not reviewing. Oh, that's got an aroma to it. Wow. You know, for a minute, I got like a cannabis aroma from it. And I don't, I'm not keen on cannabis, I'm not. Yeah, it's definitely got a potent aroma. Wow. So, uh, this glass is obviously not a glass. To, I can see the carbonation, I can see the lacing. It looks golden amber in colour, with a thin white head. Just top it up. So, never had it before. Always nice to have new beers, lagers, new ciders. Isn't that what life's about? Obviously we're in March now and uh, I'm sick to the back teeth of hearing about coronavirus. It is scary, scary if you're somebody who suffers with health conditions. Uh, scary for the elderly, you know it's scary for us, I think it's scary for all of us. And it's not helping that the media are making it scarier. Um, but it's March, we're in the middle of, near the middle of March now and uh, hopefully it'll start getting warmer. Once it gets warmer, the risks will subside until next winter. But hopefully by then they'll have something sorted. You'd think so anyway. Ooh. So, quite a twangy uh, lager. Like I said, that golden amber pour. I'm definitely getting a bit of wheat in the taste. Very light malt. A little bit of floral, but there's definitely something. There's definitely a twang to it. When I first opened it up, like I said, I thought I'd got a bit of cannabis uh, aroma to it. And I don't do drugs. I don't ever do drugs. Never in my life have I done a drug. Closest thing I've done to a drug is buying that CBD oil um, to help with anxiety. And you know, a lot of these things, you've got a headache. So you suffer with the headache for hours. You think, oh, bloody hell, I'll take a tablet. You take the tablet, the headache goes. Is it the tablet that's doing it? Or is it the fact that you think you've took the tablet and your brain thinks, I've took the tablet, right, that means the pain's gone, go in. And it, it does make you wonder sometimes where kidology makes you, um, you know, I'll give you an example um, from the Harry Potter films, Ron Weasley, when Harry uh, slips in that, um, oh, some of that liquid look, he thinks that he's been slipped that liquid look and all of a sudden it's like oh I'm lucky then he plays a blinder of a, a Quidditch game 
And you think to yourself, is it the same? You know, same as stress tablets. I'll take um, something called Propanolol for anxiety. And it's supposed to lower your blood pressure and that. But is it the fact that I've took it and I think that it's working, that it just works? It does make you wonder. Uh, I mean, I've, I've had two fate before and you take tablets and you think, oh, it's working. But I don't know, it's, it's an odd one. Maybe it does, but your brain thinking it is working helps as well. It does make you wonder. Interesting. So, I've just done a review of a Denmark-based lager called FAXE. Facts. And that was very smooth. This definitely got some bite to it. So, if you don't like your lagers too smooth, and you want something that's got a bit of, bit of balls in it, a bit of something to grab you, this is definitely one of them lagers that um, will appease that type of drinker. And on my phone it says Rain de Bies Champignons Continental Lager. I have to remember that tonight when I uh, put the review up online. I've been about a bit slapdash with reviews lately. Uh, I've missed some days. I meant to put two up last night, but um, why, did I, why didn't I? Oh, I drank some prune juice wine and. Uh, I had one little glass, that led to another little glass, and then that led to a pint glass, and uh, oh my god, it helped me sleep, no doubt about that, but this morning, oh dear, if you suffer with constipation, and a lot of people do out there, then, but you lack a drop of wine or, you know, alcohol, brewing your own prune juice wine might be a way of helping yourself. I mean, this morning, <clears throat> there couldn't have been left, anything left in my system. And uh, my work, <laughs> work mates knew about it. Jesus. The gas from it, flip neck. If I'd have put a match to my arse, it would have fucking caused a fire. I've never known it like it. And I do apologise to all the women out there, you know, it's very crude talking about that sort of thing. But, you know, sometimes uh, we all get gassy, you know, and even the Queen does. But, oh my God. And uh, tonight, keeping her well away from the prune juice. Can't do that again. Can't do two days of that. It's just too much. But uh, every now and again, I think it's a good thing, you know. And uh, today, just on a tangent away from um, log... Uh, the lager review for a second. Let it, let it, let it roam. Thinking about future brews because looking at the shed now, my beer room, I'm coming to the end of. Um, I've run out of my red wine. I've got no red wine left. I've got no white wine, no rosé. I've got the grapefruit juice wine, which is oh, it's an acquired taste. It really is an acquired taste. And I'm thinking about the new season. Obviously, um, we we have just entered spring, so for the summer months, now's the time. You know, for your June, July, you, if you're going to do a brew, a home brew, you'll want to start brewing now. And I might do some uh, videos on home brew, and you know, just to give my opinions on some of the better uh, brands out there, because there are some good brands and cheap brands as well. You don't always have to go for the expensive stuff. And in my opinion, uh, if you're really on a budget and you really are struggling, obviously getting the you need you need to get yourself a bucket with um, the fermentation bucket with an airlock. That is primary. As for the rest of it, you can siphon into pot bowls, old pot bowls, as long as you wash them out, sterilise them, etc. And you know, as a person who works in a job that isn't the highest paid job, you know, my job's quite low paid. Really. Years ago, gardening used to be quite high paid, but it's gone down over the years, and uh, maybe I chose the wrong job. I should, 
in the old days I probably should have gone into computers because I was a whiz kid at computers but I obviously didn't go into that I didn't stay in that and uh, but I know also I didn't want to be a manager either in the old days I wanted to go up the chain and then I seen what it does to people power greedy bleeders and uh, I, I don't like that that's not the person that I am I, uh, you know I, prefer, I treat people as I find them if someone's an arse I'll be an arse back but if someone's nice I'll be nice back and that's the way it should be or try and convert people and uh, I think I'm having a good impression on somebody at work who's who's uh, uh, who's shall we say is the way he is he's been brought up in a certain way and even though this bloke is like slightly older than me you know by being with someone like me I can change him to be a better person and uh, sometimes we all need that you know sometimes um, in life we all need a short sharp shock to tell us that we're being a brat and to get off that track anyway what was I talking about okay now I've gone off on a tangent I've really went off on a tangent there no it's gone right anyway back on the lager review it'll come back at some stage I'm sure it must be old age you know I'm sure it's old age talk shit for two some ten minutes then fuck it out you're back on the lager review no oh for god's sakes and yeah own brew yeah, there are some great kits out there, and especially if you're on a budget. I can't emphasise how much it's worth trying juice wines. Um, you can look at some of the playlists I've done. and uh, For a rosé, cherry juice wine is it absolutely immense. If you want to do orange juice wine, wow! That was fantastic for getting yourself battered and tasting nice that was amazing i can't fault it and it was damn cheap and it made some real good wine see what you've got to think about with um i know this has nothing to do with the lager review i do i do apologize i do rattle on but um if you're looking for something that to get yourself to, you know to have a drink get drunk but do it on the cheap Orange juice wine is is absolutely fantastic. With sugars and yeast, uh, some um, of these juice wines don't translate well. They don't get rid of all the sugars. Uh, pomegranate is a lovely juice wine. Doesn't get rid of all the um, uh, sugars. Hence why it turned into a sparkling wine. The same happened to, to blueberry wine, blueberry juice when I did that cherry wine juice wine that actually got rid of all the sugars so did the orange juice and i think so did the apple juice as well i actually, actually haven't done a proper apple juice wine which i think has got to be something i've got to get some on the agenda this year the wife won't be happy but hey ho life and uh, when i'm sat in the hot tub in the middle of summer chilling on chilling with my wine you know enjoying life that's if we have a summer hey all the, re all the rain we've had these last seven or eight months, bloody hell. It's been a, we, need a, we need a three month spell of dry. That's what we need. So, back to this. I'm already at, oh, 30 minutes. I do apologise. Still got a nice twang to it, not harsh as in um, gassy harsh, but there is a gassy element to it. If you went into Asda and you've seen this at a quid and you thought, well I'm not buying that rubbish, it's only a quid. And then you look at your Peronis and all these at two quid and beyond, you think, I'm not buying that too cheap it's obviously cheap for a reason I'll be honest with you it's not bad not bad at all well worth trying and this is from somebody who's drank a hell of a lot of different lagers and beers and ciders and spirits and wine <coughs> but yeah not a bad drink at all obviously 
sometime, obviously, with drinking, the first drink is obviously the most important because that's when your taste buds aren't used to having any alcohol. This is my second uh, review of the night, so um, it may, sometimes when you're reviewing, it may hamper your review because you've already tasted something. This is the second the alcohol is taking effect. Um, but obviously I can tell this is a very different beast to the other other beer, that I, uh, lager rather, that I reviewed. And uh, I'm liking it, I can't fault it at all. It's gassy, but not too gassy. Um, it's got a nice taste to it. There's a twang in there, in the taste. It's obviously very light malts. There's a taste of wheat in there to me. And when I first poured it out, I thought I could smell cannabis. I can't, I can't now at all. So obviously, in the bottle, gases create, and, and, the, and that aroma when it first comes like, whoa, I don't like that. But it's got better. And overall, quite a nice tasting lager. So, golden to, to amber pour with a white, white head. God, I can't pronounce my R's and W's. Um, <clears throat> very fine lacing, but that might just be this glass, because this glass doesn't seem to have any widgets in the bottom. And by widgets, I mean anything printed in the bottom of your glass. It helps give off more carbonation, more lacing. Um... A natural harp. I've got a harp glass there, and harp is a proper lager glass. This is more of a beer glass, and uh, so that would give off more. So that's something to think about when you're watching other reviewers. The glass makes a difference, and also I pissed up the bloke who's doing the review, obviously. Um. What can I say about it? It's a nice tasting lager. It's definitely worth giving it a punt, giving it a try, see how you go with it. Uh, there's definitely a twang there, there's definitely um, definitely a gassy. So if you like your lagers with a bit of gas in, a bit of kick to it, and you're used to, if you're used to Foster's Carl in Carlsberg, Stella, you're used to the gassy lagers anyway. So this is a, is a good, um, step more to go and it's cheap cheap as chips at that price and which is i have a 92 or one pound eight something i only had two quid on me and i thought oh two quid i'll have them too so that's why i bought them um out of five 4.2 out of five i really liked it couldn't fault it at all and the alcohol content which is 5.5 percent so decent alcohol content and i can feel it as well Ooh. Drank two different lagers, two pints, and I'm feeling it. And that's great, because if you can drink every night and you're chopping and changing lagers or beers, wines or spirits, if you're chopping and changing and you can't feel it after a few, then bloody hell, you, you know, you're not doing yourself any favours. You need to come off the beer and give yourself a break. On two pints, uh, not one, well, not actually two pints, basically a litre, and I can really feel it. So, something to think about, you know. Um, we maybe all drink too much, but, uh, and we all think, I'm not being told by some idiot government what I can and can't do, and I'm totally in that, that range. I'm not being told by no one what I'm drinking and eating, but sometimes you, own, you yourself think, yeah, man, I need to calm down. Right, thanks for watching. See you soon.